Hey everyone, my name is Justin from justthisgood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to give your photos a cold, dramatic film look in Photoshop. This would work better on daytime photos. It could work on a nighttime photo as well, but you just have to adjust the strength of the effect and make it a little bit less strong. So now that you have your photo open and you're in Photoshop, uh, an optional step before we start is to go to filter, lens correction, and then head over to the custom tab and we can add a quick little vignette just to give it a little bit more of that film look. So if we just go over to this vignette menu bar here and set it to darken slightly, you can see Photoshop will add a little bit of a vignette around the edges. So that just helps with the film look and that's why we're adding it, but you can skip that step if you want. The next step we're going to do is head over to layer, new adjustment layer, black and white. You could play around with the settings if you like and make some colors brighter than others, but we don't really have to touch it. We just we can just leave it default and it'll work just fine. The most important part of this step is setting the blending mode of this layer to overlay. So sometimes that can be a bit strong as you see, but what it does is it adds a bit of contrast and desaturation at the same time but since it can be so strong you want to make sure to adjust the opacity down to a level that looks better for your photo and not so harsh so i'll keep mine at 75 percent about uh, and that'll give it that gives it that dramatic look and now finally we're just going to add that cold temperature to give it that cold film look so head over to layer new adjustment layer, photo filter this time. And under the preset filters, we could just use, I like to use this preset, cooling filter 82. And also the most important part here is adjusting the density. So the more you bring it up, the, the more cold it looks, but I like to keep it at a reasonable percentage, such as 20, and keep preserved luminosity checked. So there you have it. There's your cold dramatic film look, and this will work on almost any photo. Um, all you gotta do is adjust the opacities and the strengths based on your photo. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure you check out my website, justthisgood.com for more, and make sure you subscribe to me here on YouTube to be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. Also, you can follow me on any social media. Uh, my username is justthisgood on all of them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.